Good morning, grade one students. How are you all doing today? I hope you all must be all very happy, excited, and you all must be feeling fresh, energetic, minds must be fresh, no more sleeping, no more yawning. Yes, since it's morning time, so you might be tired. Yes, no? Wow, that's great. I'm very happy for that. Now, as you know, this is our week number 16, and today is the third day of your week 16. And this is which class? Yes, this is your literacy class, and I am here, teacher Shaista, teaching you literacy. Now, <coughs> I'm going to, excuse me. Now, I'm going to show you something that... <coughs> Okay, I was telling you that I'm going to show you something like what the teacher is doing. What was I doing? I was writing on the whiteboard, right? <coughs> now what am I doing? I am coughing, right? Okay, now what am I doing? <coughs> I am Clapping, correct. Now, what all these actions were? They were the actions. They were the, uh, I was uh, I was doing some actions for you, right? First, I wrote on the board, then I coughed, then I clapped. So these are all verbs, right? You, uh, you call them doing words or action words or verbs, right? So whatever actions you are doing, they are all the doing words or action words. And they tell us what a person, animal is doing. So doing words tell us what people, animals and things did, right? Or what they are doing right now. Now, I want to show you something. I'm going to show you a presentation on doing words. Now, you know that we also call them verbs, right? Now, let's move on and check it out. What do I have for you? Now, a verb is a word that shows action. <coughs> Excuse me. Like jumping girl, the baby <coughs> sleeps, right? And a man eats a burger. <coughs> now the second is, what is this boy doing? He is reading. Okay. <coughs> what is this girl doing? Singing. Correct. Right? <coughs> what is, what can you see in this picture? This girl is writing something. Correct. And what can you see in this picture? This girl is eating. Correct. So what can you see here in this picture? Walk, eat, read, sleep, fall, play, write. What are all these? These are all action words or you call them verbs or you call them doing words. Right? Now, as I did the action in the beginning, I wrote something on the board. I clapped my hands and I coughed, right? So those were the action which I was doing right now at this moment. Like right now at this moment, what am I doing? I am teaching you. I am explaining. What are you people doing? You all are listening. You are listening to whom? You all are listening to your teacher. So that is why I have we have done uh, the teacher is writing, the teacher is clapping, the teacher is coughing because it is happening right now. It is happening in present form. What if I'm talking about what I did yesterday? I wrote something yesterday, right? So that means, so that means I wrote something yesterday. I clapped yesterday. So that means I'm talking about past. It is not present. It was present when I was talking in the beginning. But now I'm talking about past. 
so there is a difference when you are talking about present you are you are going to write down ing like the teacher the teacher is writing the teacher is clapping but when i'm talking about past <clears throat> instead of writing ing i'm going to add what i'm going to add i'm going to add ed like you can see that <clears throat> like i said the teacher wrote the teacher wrote on the whiteboard right <clears throat> yes like i said the teacher wrote on the whiteboard the teacher clapped c l a d -P, p e d right the teacher talked you will write ed okay all right children so whenever you are talking about past <clears throat> doing words you add to the verb family that is to the doing words you add ed like here want will become wanted help will become plus ed it becomes help right i helped my students right i <clears throat> played with my friends excuse me right so <clears throat> for past you will add ed and for present you will a present continuous you will write down ing so this was what uh, uh, what are doing words with past tense right now if you open your book page number 76 here you will find <clears throat> they have explained doing words now, doing words tell us what people, animals, and things did in the past. Like we make these doing words like verb family name plus ed. Like need plus ed becomes needed. We needed money to get the food. <clears throat> Understood? All right. Now, say the doing word in each of this sentence. Mother wanted money for food. What is the doing word here in this sentence? Mother wanted correct <clears throat> mother wanted money for food so doing word is wanted number two the old man walked out into the road so what is the doing word walked correct all right mother looked to cross remember i told you the meaning of cross means to get angry so mother looked crossed looked correct Jack planted the beans. What are the doing word? What is the doing word here? Planted. Correct. So that means that these are the simple doing verbs, and <clears throat> and how we add, how we make them pa uh, into past tense by adding ed. Now what I want you is, I want you to do exercise A on page seventy six. It's not a very lengthy exercise. You can easily do that in <clears throat> ten minutes. And your time starts now. All right, time is up. Done? Can you show me what you have done? Okay, wow, very nice, very good. Great. So you can WhatsApp me your work and later on I will check this out. Okay? So that means, children, what are the what was the topic that we did in this class? Can you summarize it in one sentence? We have done, you have learned about doing words or action words in past, simple past tense. Okay, this is what you have done. The action words in simple past tense, like you add ed to make it, to make it in past tense, right? This was the task. So I hope you are going to do the work which I'll be posting on, again, your portal. It will be related to your uh, workbook page only not with the of this nelson english or your workbook page okay do it yourself and don't forget to watch the videos okay children bye bye see you in your science lesson